Hi, I'm Greg Paulson, Enzometry, and I wanted to go over some need-to-know injection molding principles. These will help you in your design efforts, as well as help you communicate with your injection molding manufacturer. When designing for injection molding, we have three main concepts to highlight. Uniformity, undercuts, and draft, or what I like to call the molding trinity. For this demonstration, I'm going to let the part do the talking. I found this wall picture hanger in the hardware aisle while shopping and picked it up because it's a great demonstrator of all these injection molding principles. Let's take a closer look. The first three things any designer should be aware of when designing for molding is uniformity, undercuts, and draft. Uniformity is all about building even wall thicknesses. In practice, this includes using ribs for stiffness versus building something thicker that will build a bulky feature. This part shows some great uniformity practices. You can see here that the ribs create stiffness where needed while also creating lightweight features across the part. I have an even wall thickness where if I consider this outside edge at 100%, the inside ribs may be somewhere between 40 to 60% to prevent sink marks from the other side. But overall, this part is on a diet. This is a great example of using ribs versus creating a thick Part, something that has thermal mass to it in your design for injection molding. The next concept in designing is identifying and removing, when possible, undercuts. Imagine shining a light on the opposite sides of these parts. Everything illuminated can be molded with the main cavity. However, if there's a shadow cast, or a core or a slide must be added to achieve that feature. This part has some great examples of using something called pass-through coring to eliminate undercuts, letting this tool only require a core and a cavity. You can see the overhanging features from the side, and in order to prevent undercuts, the designer made holes where the undercuts would cast a shadow, allowing for part of the opposite cavity to create these features. Because every additional slide and core adds upfront tooling costs, these simple design approaches can save thousands of dollars. The last thing we want to review on a part is draft. Draft is required to remove the part without the tool dragging. It's a designed in angle on vertical edges. This is typically one to three degrees depending on the depth and texture. For this part here, you can see that most of these features do have an angle for them, which allows for easy release, even on the edges here. And you have some slight draft on the edges and so even more draft here on the internal cores. To recap, the three things you need to consider for best designs for injection molding are uniformity, undercuts, and draft angles. In our next video, we will discuss the important mold making decisions, parting, ejection, and gating. As always, if you have questions, Zomtree's professional molding team will have answers. We are experts at guiding you through injection molding projects, no matter the size and scope. Visit Zomtree's website for more tips, design guides, and expert consultation.